Peter Byrne here. Remember to check out the website for all the free tabs and information relating to this set of video tutorials. The two chords you need are C and G7. For all the chord diagrams and lyrics, make sure to go to the songbook section of the website. To form the chord C, you place your first finger on the second string first fret, you place your second finger on the fourth string second fret, and you place your third finger on the fifth string third fret. You don't sound when you're strumming the sixth string. The other chord you require is G7. To play G7, you place your first finger on the first string first fret, your second finger on the fifth string second fret, and your third finger on the sixth string third fret, and you play all the strings. To change between C and G7, you simply lift your fingers, open up your hand a bit and place them back down again in effectively the same shape but just with your hand opened up a bit. And then to go back to C, you reverse that by lifting your fingers, closing the separation of your fingers a little and placing them back down on the strings. So the chord progression is C to G7, back to C. The strum you require is down, down, up, down, up. And that repeats itself continually. Down, down, up, down, up. 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 The, while I'm strumming this, I'm holding down a C chord, which is the chord for the beginning of the tune. You'll also notice that I'm strumming with my thumb, but you could just as easily strum with a plectrum and the strumming pattern will be identical. You'll also notice that the first down in the pattern is strummed slightly harder slight emphasis on it because it's the first beat of each bar. The rhythm you're trying to achieve is da 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 bring it up to speed her eyes they shone like diamonds You'd think she was queen of the land With her hair hung over her shoulders Tied up in a black velvet band And so on 